we're here in an area that we've uh, we've found. Uh, this is an area I, I noticed some chinch bug damage, and we've uh, and we've we've pulled over to look. And uh, this is as many chinch bugs as I've ever seen in an area. Basically, you you look uh, chinch bugs are looking for drought stressed grass. So you might think there's just a dry spot in your yard, and more than likely that is where they start. It's and it's usually up next to the concrete uh, because that heat radiating off that concrete stresses that grass. But uh, the the chinch bugs will move in and the way you if you think you've got them you don't look at the dead area you look at the areas around the perimeter where it's still kind of green and the, the chinch bugs will kill an area and as they eat they and they they uh they suck the juice out of the plant and it basically turns it to hay and they inject a toxin as they eat as well so uh you're replacing the grass because it's the only thing that's going to come back there is weeds but uh basically you can see them in here you see there's there's a they're little gnat looking guys uh black bodies with uh the their wing tips are white so you see uh they basically form it as a, in an adult stage they uh it forms an x across their back as they fold their wings but uh there are different life stages but if they say if you can get down on your hands and knees and kind of part the grass, if you can count more than five or six of them in a minute or so, uh, you got a problem. And right now, I, I, I'm not counting, but there are hundreds right here in front of them and uh, in front of me. And the reason this is a place I know they always uh, they always come because uh, we're only standing on about six inches of dirt, and underneath it uh, is a big concrete uh pipe so there's not much dirt the grass isn't real healthy because of the uh it just doesn't have that extensive of a root system because of that lack of dirt so uh th this is a place that uh, a chinch bug is going to show up first to every time uh we, d we didn't have any rain uh it's it, we've had a fairly wet year but it didn't rain about three weeks in july and uh so this grass got drought stressed and these chinch bugs showed up here and they are doing a number on it uh and if this was your backyard or front yard uh, you would have definitely have to replace this grass and I would uh, I would recommend an, uh, a today treatment of either the Cyanara uh, liquid or uh, the Nitrofos bug out max uh, would take care of these guys in a real big hurry they're really easy to kill but you got to identify them you can't mistake them for just drought stress uh, you got to you got to get down your hands and knees and uh, it'll it's you can confirm it pretty quick by doing that uh, some people say if you stick a coffee can uh, in the ground and fill it up with water uh, that'll they'll float to the top or just pour a bucket of soapy water uh, on this area and they'll come running up out of there as well but right now there's so many here that uh, it is uh, the, it is unmistakable so uh, just wanted to show you a little bit uh, of, show you some chinch bug damage uh, in the area and, uh, and and show you some chinch bugs as well